What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham news update. Now in this video I'm of course going to be talking about yet another character reveal. Another one. It's it's insane how many character reveals we're getting but I love it. It's brilliant. I get to talk about it. It's a lot of fun. So this video is going to be a really cool one. This character is one that I've seen requested many times. Actually, probably the same amount requested for him as well as the character that I just did a video on. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so here he is. This is Kyle Rayner and he is of course a White Lantern. Now this is awesome because previously we just got um, a Black Lantern announcement which was the Black Hand and that's awesome and then I... Remember, you know, loads of comments flooding in, people saying, Okay, this is cool, we've got the black hand, but I want the white lantern now to make it complete. Here you are. You've got a white lantern, you've got a green lantern, you could, um, I, have we seen any blue lanterns? Yes, we did. We did see a blue lantern. We saw Laffy's, I think, is an orange lantern, or, and Sinestro's yellow, and Atrocitus is red. So yeah, they pretty much got every single one. I believe there was a pink lantern, I think. But yeah, they pretty much got every single lantern colour now, so... This game is going to be brilliant. I still kind of feel that uh, this game, although it's not a big deal for me, and I have seen many people comment on it before, is it's called Lego Batman 3. But to be fair, there's so many characters in this, they should just call this uh, Lego DC superheroes, like Lego Marvel superheroes, because there's just so many. I mean, this, this is a huge lantern game now. You can play as every color of the lanterns. It's insane. I mean, you can fly around Oa and all the different planets. It's very much a lantern game than it is Batman, but it's also, you know, all these other um, characters and enemies and things from the DC comics. But I definitely think it's very much a lantern game. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just a little nitpick I have, but it's not really a big deal. I mean, when I look at the box and I see Lego Batman 3, I'm not going to get cross about it. it. It doesn't really bother me. It's just something I thought I would um, mention. But yeah, this guy looks awesome. His design is really cool. It's really nice to see a White Lantern finally playable in the game. And I'm really excited to see what he can do because, of course, hopefully, we're all hoping from the gameplay that we saw, um, many of the Lanterns seemed a bit unique compared to each other. Depending on the colour, it seemed like they could do a few different things than the others. So, for example, I believe Red Lanterns seem to be a little more aggressive than the Green Lanterns. So hopefully White Lanterns can do things that Black Lanterns can't. And, of course, maybe, just maybe, we'll get a Cal Rayner um, Green Lantern costume as an alternate one. That would be really cool. Alright, guys, so hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for lots more news on LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. And, as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.